when you look around, John, it doesn't look incredibly glamorous, but this is critical to the function of this ship, where we are right now. And essentially, this is the heart and soul of what makes this ship move through the water. Absolutely. You know, this is where we control all the power generation for the ship. Unlike your home where the power plant's down the street, our power generation comes with us to sea. And John, in the process of moving this ship, having that engine running, exhaust is created, which has chemicals like sulfur. What are we doing to alleviate that impact of sulfur? You know, Jeff, we use the latest technology called advanced air quality systems to use salt water to scrub that emission to pull the sulfur out. So you take that natural chemistry of seawater, which interacts with the exhaust, and that extracts the sulfur. And John, we actually have a great example of that from Ocean Trex, which we did on Coral Princess. After a great day exploring Santiago, Chile, I'm back in the nearby port of San Antonio, where Coral Princess awaits our next adventure. Guys, we've had the most amazing day exploring Santiago, Chile. We're back aboard ship, and right now we're with Chief Engineer Marco, and Marco is gonna tell us about some pretty interesting technology aboard this vessel. It's known as Advanced Air Quality System. Yes. What makes it more advanced compared to the more traditional systems in older ships? The basic principle for this equipment is to reduce the, the sulfur from the, the smoke emission. Sometime uh, you can see some white smoke, one pump coming out, but that is just vapor. Water vapor. Water vapor, yes, the thing. So what's happening is, as this engine is powered, you get greenhouse gas emissions. Yes, correct. But what's unique about this system is you're actually using the natural component of seawater to sustainably reduce the emissions that are produced by this vessel. Yes. Correct. How does that happen? The basic component of this our system is a five component. We have the seawater pump, we have a filtration system, we have the tower, we have a mixer and a buffer pump. These are the basic system. The gas is going through the tower, gas coming from the engine, and is treated by the seawater from the tower. There is this four ring inside with a nozzle, it becomes high pressure nozzle and they trapped all the sulfur and the particle. They deposit at the bottom of the tower. At the bottom of the tower, it goes down to the engine room. We have a filtration system, filter it and discharge overboard. So does that mean the water coming out is the same as it goes in? The water that come out uh, is uh, more or less as we use it because we need to follow the uh, International Maritime Organization policy. Plus with the new installation of the filter, all the particle, all the solid particle, they will be tracked on board. They will not be discharged overboard. So Marco, what's the payoff? What's the benefit? With the system, the achievement is really big because compared to the traditional engine, we reduce 99% of the sulfur that we emit in the atmosphere and between 60 and 90% of the particular matter that we can discharge on the atmosphere. So up to 90% of the particular matter yes. is scrubbed out from escaping the atmosphere. Correct. And 99% of the sulfur. Yes, correct. That's a much cleaner expulsion of air, which decreases greenhouse gases. Of course. Which is much better for the planet. Oh yes, for everybody. Well, Marco, grazie mille. Thank you so much. What a pleasure.